Back here at home, another hiker death in the valley blamed on the extreme heat. A woman visiting the valley died Sunday on a trail up in North Scottsdale. Now the city of Phoenix has made changes to trail access in the heat, and it's something other cities are looking at too. Here's Brianna Whitney. The sun was setting Sunday evening and Catherine Royster went for her typical hike at Brown's Ranch, but things were quickly different. There was about maybe 15 or 20 um, Sheriff's officers, uh, police officers, canine units, helicopter came in. The helicopter came around and hovered over me and said, are you OK? Are you hurt? She wasn't hurt, but was shortly told after they were looking for a missing woman. Scottsdale police say 57 year old Donna Miller of Rhode Island was hiking with her husband when they planned to separate. They began their hike around 1230 and her husband called 911 around 315 when he got to the planned meeting spot and couldn't find Donna. At the time, temperatures were at 103 degrees in the area. I saw her car and I saw them taking items for the dogs to smell, so I'm, I'm sure that they were trying to do some location. After hours of searching, her body was found and first responders say heat illness appears to be her cause of death. Right now, the city of Phoenix has a pilot program in place where they close the trailheads to Camelback and Piestua Mountains when it's 105 degrees or more. But the city of Scottsdale doesn't have anything like that. We had an excessive heat warning in effect this weekend, and they say they've had much more mountain rescues this summer compared to last. Since July, we've had 15 rescues to date. Scottsdale Deputy Fire Chief Adam Hoster says that 15 number is high compared to the same time period last year when they had just six rescues. They're now looking at Phoenix's trail closure pilot program too. It's something we may be looking into in the future. Hoster says it's critical to be prepared and one thing stood out right away in this situation. Preliminary information that I received that I, I do not believe she had a cell phone with her. But the heat is no joke, especially to those who don't live here. And while nobody is facing charges in this case, it's a tragic reminder how quickly your body can shut down. I've had situations where I've helped people out um, that have needed help in terms of water and called paramedics. In North Scottsdale, Brianna Whitney.